Hello, hello, hello everyone. I am uh, back. I feel like I'm always saying I'm back at the moment, um, but it's Sid from Partridge Exterior Cleaning um, and today I am at a repeat customer. I've been called back. Uh, it's always a sad day if it ever happens, but it does happen sometimes. I'm at a roof that was cleaned, uh, what was it? I think it was a couple of years ago now, um, and there has been uh, growth that has started to regrow. So I'll show you the roof behind me. So I hope that's uh, coming up nicely on the camera. So as you can see, I mean, there's some tiles that anyway have sort of been replaced anyway, but um, around these parts here, there's growth that started to come back. It's moss and algae that has um, basically, yeah, decided that it wants to infect the roof again. Now, I'll show you the back. And you might be thinking, Sid, did you do a bad job? Uh, what's going on? You know, this isn't like you to, uh, yeah, for things to be growing back already. Um, and the truth of the story is, um, this job was one of the jobs um, I hadn't done too many before and especially hadn't done many chemical treatments um, So I know for well I probably could have soft washed this roof better um, than what I did, but the main culprit Is this tree this big old tree that overhangs the roof? Um, I'll see I'm not sure if I've got any pictures of this job I'll try and dig them out somewhere, but it was heavy There was like that much thick of moss it was a couple of inches thick of moss um, that was actually on the front of this house um, and the back was pretty bad as well I'll show you the back quickly so there's the back I mean as you can still see I mean look at next door that's basically how it was and yeah so this is sort of a few years on from the job um, and there's nothing on this back there's literally nothing at all there's a few little dots um, sort of here and there um, but yeah it's mainly it's mainly the front that's our issue um, and I remember I did say to um, the customer I said we'll have a look in a year or so um, because I'm a bit worried about this big tree that's above me so yeah, this big thing here that literally does overhang the whole front of it. Um, but I mean, to be honest, it's not too bad. Um, now the customer wasn't angry or anything. They were like, oh, you've done a terrible job. It was like, oh Sid, it's starting to grow back. Can you come down and retreat the roof? Um, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna retreat this roof. Um, I've got everything set up. I'm actually using, I'm actually using the backpack today. Um, there's no outside tap connection, so I'm having to use like the kitchen tap. I'm doing a bit of pressure washing as well, that's why I've got the wheel bin set up. Um, but yeah, so I thought instead of trying to run a dose of, dosatron into the house and all of that, I was like, that's too much stress. I'll get the trusty backpack out um, to do the job. But um, yeah, I mean, to be honest, next doors isn't actually doing it justice because the growth on next doors wasn't nearly as bad as what it's on here. I know for sure I have one picture, but it's like when I was halfway through the job, but I'll try and pop that in so you can sort of see what I mean. But yeah, enough of me uh, chatting and waffling. Um, I hope all that's that's all made sense to everyone about what I mean about coming back. This way, of what I've now started to sort of start thinking about doing is if when you go to a property for a roof clean, assess the surrounding areas, assess the trees, assess anything that's overshadowing the roof, um, and maybe offer a retreatment sort of down the line because you never know you could end up with a situation like this. Where you, you know, I kind of foresaw it, but I, you know, I didn't really because I, I was wasn't well informed on how well the chemicals work. Um, and my method of applying chemicals back then wasn't like it is today, brushing it in and you know completely saturating the roof. Um, so that's basically why this has happened. Um, so yeah, I'll get to it now.
Right then folks, that's the end of that job. So that is the roof all treated um, and a bit of pressure washing uh, and maintenance around the uh, back of the garden and the side passage. Um, I only rinsed off the tarmac around the front. Um, so yeah, there's the roof now. Obviously no different to how it was when I got here, but that's the point of the chemical treatment. Um, this will now kill any organic growth that has um, appeared over the last couple of years um, and just slowly start weathering it away um, and get that nice even finish back to how the roof looked when it was originally completed. Um, the backside is completely fine. There's nothing growing on it at all. Um, it is just a few patches there and there's just spots starting to form across the roof. So the moral of the story, guys, um, you know, it's not embarrassing to say if you get called back to a job and like, oh, it's starting to grow again. You know, make sure you do the best soft washing job that you can off put. Um, I'll put a video on screen somewhere up here um, of a quick little short of basically how you can see if you go back and check your jobs how you can tell if you have correctly soft washed the roof because a lot of people don't know because there's still going to be a bit of moss that's left over. Um, but yeah, the moral of the story is if there's any big trees surrounding the property, let the customer know and probably after a year say, right, I'll do a checkup and a follow up uh, treatment um, to the roof just to make sure if there's anything that was missed or anything starting to grow back um, that yeah it doesn't get out of control now the customer called me at the perfect time so we've sorted this out and within a couple of weeks couple of months the roof is going to be looking awesome so yeah all right thank you for watching everyone i'll turn you around now and just show you the finished product of the back um, and the pattern. so here's the tarmac was only just rinsed off i didn't do too much um, on the tarmac but all this has been cleaned around here all of this this little path there has been cleaned all the way sorry i forgot my phone by the way so i've had to do this whole video on the gopro um so hopefully it's turned out okay um but yeah still a little bit damp around here but yeah all of this was cleaned and we're just waiting for some of that to dry out um let me show you the roof again at the back so yeah see as you can see that's like a, just a bit of gray stain on them tiles um but yeah, that's it. It's a, it's a pretty even finish, to be honest. Remember, this was just a scrape and biocide. So after a year or two, this is the color, what you can expect on these concrete tiles. Um, and obviously there's next door again. So hopefully this has been sort of an informative video for you. And hopefully you've learned something new. And anyone that has been soft washing their roofs um, that are quite new to it, hopefully you can look at this and sort of know what to expect after a year um, or two. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching everyone. Um, and I'll be back with another video very soon. I've got a bit busy week ahead, so I'll be recording pretty much every day. So yeah, thank you very much everyone and take care, bye.